Ryan, I'll tell you what, whether it's 6, 16, or 26, it's the first ever career late model win. Congratulations, Ron. Thank you. Now, I just told them guys when they come down, I said, now I want like 10, 15 of them to show up. Because well, I think we had about 15 of them last year, and I might have done something a little wrong in the one corner and cost us win last year. But going into the winter, I said, I think we got something, guys. And I told them boys for the last month, I said, I ain't ever felt this comfortable in a car. Yeah. I said, we got something. We're going to go now. Well, great job tonight. You know, Kyle Moser won the heat race, looked good, but it looked like, you know, some changing track conditions from the heat to the feature. You were on the outside, looked like you got enough bite on that top side just to launch yourself off turn two to get the lead. So talk about the first couple of turns with Kyle Moser there. Well, I told my mom, I said, we're going to give her hack in that first turn because I said, if I don't do it there, he might have me because I didn't have nothing for him in the heat race. And guys were like, oh, you're just sandbagging. I'm like, no, I said, he had me. I said, so that first turn, if it, that's going to the factor of the race. Well, Ron, I know you've supported Path Valley as much as you could over the years. And uh, I know everybody here is happy for you. First ever career win. That's got to feel good, man, right? Oh, yeah. Like I said, it, it, it feels good. But like I said, if we get 15 cars up here and do it, then that'll mean something. But like I said, I had to beat five of them. That's right. You've got to beat the ones who show up, and that's what you did. Congratulations, Ryan. You got your family, friends here. Who all do you want to thank tonight? Well, I have told her together here. I said, the, the biggest one I got to thank is my dad. If it wasn't for him, we'd be there at the cabin or camping right now because I can't afford this. We got, I just told him tonight, I said, you're going to spend some tires or some money on tires. I said, he was giving me a little bit of grief about it, but I ain't got no money to put in it. We're running stuff that other people had just three, four years old. And I seen that Moser boy, he looked like he had brand new tires on the back. So I guess it means something. But the other guys I got to think, I got Don Schaefer here tonight. He does my carburetors, my valves. And then uh, Andy, Brad Mummer. Uh, Brandon and I, then I got this girl I think she's crazy she comes with me every week her name's Shelby <laughs> she tries to change my tires and stuff and she does a good job but it's something to keep the morale up around here with her but then the sponsors I gotta thank my dad for the, uh, the recycling yard they try to help us out when they can and then uh, Schaefer's R&D Dawn Schaefer uh, MS Shocks, Tri-State Shredding out of Harrisburg. Other than that, we ain't got a whole lot. Well, I've got to tell you, obviously, this is the first time I've interviewed you in Victory Lane, and you give a great interview, Ryan. I'm telling you, you do a fantastic job here in the interview, and I've got to ask you a question because I know, you know, as much as you've could over the years, you've supported Path Valley Speedway. You've got to win here. Now, I've got a quick question for you. Rose Compton, the director of the Ultimate Northeast Super Late Model Series, is here tonight. They're here Friday, August the 9th. Steel Block Late Models invited to participate with the Super Lates. You think you'll throw your hat in the ring and come up here and try it against with the Super Lates that night? We're going to go as far as we can go as long as we got the car capable of coming. If, if I do something stupid and can't get it here, we're, I mean, other than that, we're coming. All right, there you go, Rose Compton. So Ryan Stone is out in the ring. Congratulations, I got, Ryan. I got one more to thank my wife. And <laughs> I forgot her, but the little deal with the boy getting on the roof. We were in the garage, and he gets in there and stares and gets out and gets on the roof. He said, Dad, if you ever win, he says, I'm going to have to get on the roof. He said, because you're too big. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, telling it like it is, Ryan Walls, man. Great job here in Victor Lane and on the track, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Ryan Walls, ladies and gentlemen, that's his first one. Big round of applause for him here tonight.